Hello again everyone and welcome to game number two between Pain User and Cat. So another Zerg versus Terra matchup over here. And uh, this time on Zelnaga Caverns, um, we have Cat spawning as the yellow Zerg at the uh, 2 o'clock position and Pain User spawning as the red Terran at the 7 o'clock position. Um, last game we saw something, uh, we saw something that we kind of are used to seeing from Terran players at least. And a little bit of a, uh, I would, you know, the word I choose to characterize uh, Katz's game, last game, is confused. He didn't play bad or anything, but he was confused, at least that's what I felt in his game, confusion. So, this game, uh, I hope to see a little bit more decisive play from Katz, because Pain User is really uh, solid about his game, so, yep, let's check this out. Uh, and this is really odd. Okay, so Katz is gonna do some freaky stuff. Yeah, Katz is doing freaky stuff here, and I'm freaked out already. Are you guys freaked out? I, I'm freaked out. Is, it, is this gonna be a proxy hatchery or something? Oh, really? Tell me. No, what is this? Is he going? This is freaky. This is as freaky as it gets. Oh, he really wants to kill some SCVs here. That SCV is really going to go down. Look, watch. Oh my god. Oh my god. The SCV is going down. And these drones are really evil. And well, what is going on here, actually? Wow, another SCV going down. And this is this is freaky. This is this is really freaky. And, and let's see. No, he doesn't lose any drones. He just killed three SCVs. Got all of these off the line as well. Slowed down the building of these structures. And now he's going back. Wow. Cats, you're my hero right now. I don't think I don't, this didn't spell any confusion. Oh yeah, damn yeah, this wasn't confusion over here. Oh, I like this. And uh, I actually have an uh, quite interesting game. I should really cast this. It's it's like one and a half minutes long. Something I was doing with my girl. Yeah, I think I should cast that one. I'm gonna show it to you. If I just I just thought you'd all think I'm an idiot if I showed you that. But pros are doing stuff that is really freaky, and uh, yeah. Why not? So I'm gonna do that. After these games, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna seriously uh, see if I can find that game if it's still in the recent replays or whatever and cast it. Anyway, uh, spawning pool going down for cats in the end, and it's almost done. And uh, pain user is uh, not doing so well. <laughs> it was a bunch of SV, so I'm just gonna look at the harvester count. Uh, <laughs> so actually, yes, indeed, 18 drones versus 13 SCVs. This is great. This is great. And uh, we have two first zerglings on the way, and this bunker is really not gonna do anything because that SCV is so weak, and he's gonna die. Yes, yes, this is a hero drone. Kills one. Let's check out the other drones, the ones that came back. There has to be drones here with kills. I'm not, ki I'm not, I'm not getting any of them. Aha, there we go. One, one kill there, and another kill there. So yep, we got some really nasty aggressive drones in the base. So yep, fast expand. There we go. Gets it down. And Pain User is not doing so well in this game. Katz is really pulling some nasty stuff off. Gas is down, although no drones on it yet. But he, oh, actually he just uh, mined the 100 he needed for the Zergling speed. And took all the drones off. He's getting a queen, two queens actually. Um, he wants the second queen ready for when his natural is up. And a few Zerglings on the way. But four or five Marines actually already out. And the wall is complete, so the Zergling is not going to be able to do anything. And let us see who if any of them is going to die. Nope, he just pulled back in time, but the Marines are coming out, and uh, yep, that Zergling didn't really want to be there. He was kind of curious to see, and he did see, and it's the last thing he did see. Um, so this expansion is almost done. I'm quite curious to see how Pain User decides to handle this game, um, because he's a little bit behind on economy and uh, on expansions as well. This command center is going down now. Um, yep, it's gonna be interesting to see how the Terran player deals with the uh, with this game. I think he should maybe take a different uh, path. Although no, I guess he really fancies Helions. So Helions again. Uh, they are quite good against Zerglings, you saw these Zerglings, why not? So, when he has to be careful, he has to get that. Yep, there we go. Wall is up again, and the reactor is gonna get spotted. Yep. So, he gets to see the reactor. And uh, he's trying to see what's happening over here. And the factory does transit over, it switches to the reactor, which means faster Helions, Helion spam, and. Uh, 
two more barracks going down. So this is going to clearly mean infantry coupled with Helians. Much quite similar to what happened last game. Engineering by going down at about the same time, if I remember correctly. And Katz is getting the lair. His gas is pretty late this time. He's saturating his natural. A um, bunch of larva here that needs to get used. Use the larva. Use the larva. And um, three Helians making their way across the map and uh, roasting a Zergling over there. And for the... Um, I'm just, I just want to say something. Uh, five Helians. Okay, if he... Now he should try and move out with these since he's not getting pre-igniter. Um, so, so, Painizer, what are you going to do? I'm going to take a look at the APM. So we're on 140 for both of these players. And more Zerglings getting roasted. One Zergling just going into that uh, flame spam from these five Helians. And I like this. Let's see if he takes the back route. Yes, and this is what you want to do. Yep, nice rally point over here. And there we go. Helians are moving out. And you're just going to pop. There's no Overlord here to see this. And these are just going to fly in the mineral lining. And they're already there. The Zerglings do pick up on this. And one Helium getting trapped, though. Two more coming. Oh, this is a lot of Heliums. And those Zerglings are in trouble. Oh, yes, they are. There we go. All Zerglings getting killed. Now, that's a lot of Zergling, uh, Zerglings dying. But he didn't lose any of his drones. Or he might have lost one there in that uh, confusion. I'm not exactly sure. But he has a lot of roaches up. And these roaches are really good against Heliums. So keep that in mind. Uh, let us see. Let us see what Pain User decides to do with the rest of his Helians. He doesn't really want to throw them away. I don't agree with what he's doing right now. This is um, this is the kind of stuff you don't really want to do with Helians. There's no point. I mean, it's it's almost clear to anybody that you're not going to be able to do anything with those Helians as long as the roaches are out. And you know, yeah. So, oh, and uh, this is not really the smartest thing over here. And the Marauder is gonna get surrounded. No, uh, my bad. Um, the bunker I meant. But he's pulling back as the Marauder is quite good against the Roaches. He, he wants to pull back his Marauder. What are you doing? And there was space in the bunker as well. Oh, careless, careless mi micro there from Pain User. And the, the, the bunker is going down. Wow, this is not looking good at all for Pain User. That's a lot of Roaches. No Marauders. There we go, one Marauder. He needs to get in that bunker. There we go. But the bunker is going to go down fast. And wow. Uh, all these units are hightailing it out of there, and let's see if Pain User can actually hold this off. He can lift off his commands, and it won't be that big a loss, but, um, and, uh, oh, 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 <laughs> oh, that was close, that was close. That's something that you really don't want happening. And those SCVs need to find their way to repair the yes, supply depot, and this is really close, and it might go down. Oh, no, he switched fire. Why did he? Oh, that was, like, so close. One more attack up on that supply depot, and it would be down. I'm not exactly sure I agree with what... Cats did there. I don't think. He, I think he. Uh, I think he thought that it was already dead, but it wasn't. So now there's a lot of marines stimming up and stuff here, and uh, this marauder and the tank as well. And this attack is gonna get repelled, but this this orbital command is burning. And um, one moment, police. There we go. Um, this orbital command is burning. It needs to get repaired, which is probably going to happen right now. There we go. The SCVs are coming, the SCVs are coming, and I'm hearing some Zerglings poking away at something. Yes, it was that refinery, and it just... Um, I wonder, do refineries have workers inside them? Hmm. I guess it's the SCVs that come in the refinery and bring the gas, but that seems kind of unlikely. Fully automated refinery, although this is like in the year, what, 5,000 something, who knows. Um, so yeah, theoretically speaking. And uh, Starport coming here, we're gonna see Medivac spam, yeah, MMM bad, MMM boys, MMM, that's what we do, we're Terrans and we need to go for any MMM, but um, another hatchery going here, peripheral hatchery, and this bunker, this is really spooky what's happening right now, these circles are just sitting and watching at this bunker getting built, and uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, Gats is expanding freely though now, he doesn't have anything to worry about really, so he's just choosing to do that, bailing us on the way, and a few upgrades for the Terran player. Um, and the Spire is done, uh, I, I didn't really catch the Spire, it was in the middle of that, uh, all that battle, that entire battle over there, and uh, didn't really see it. And um, 
Oops, oopsie doopsie, centrifugal hook, so roly polies, indeed roly polies, everybody likes calling on that. And uh, Infestor's again out for cats, and let's see if he's gonna get any mutalisk or not. I'm not sure if he's getting that sort of, yep, there we go, six mutal. so this kind of delayed mutalisk, I think you've heard a lot of people talk about this, they're really good, I mean, um, you really surprise your opponent with them. I, uh, as you can see, he's getting a lot of marauders now, a lot of marauders over marines because he's he fe he fears those roaches. Uh, marines are not are really terrible against roaches, so uh, he's getting the marauders, but marauders do not attack here. So those delayed mutilisk, and there we go, it's flat. And oh, he wants to be careful with that. Doesn't want to really lose units for no reason like that. And there we go, the delayed mutilisk are coming in. Then the marines will die really really fast, and then the rest of the army will follow. And pain user should just really back off because. This has no chance of survival whatsoever. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, the Mutas are coming in here to deal some much needed justice. And, whoa, the Infestors are kind of getting uh, their asses handed to them over there. And a bunch of turrets getting built in the main. He needs to see this. There we go. Taking out those SCVs and a bunch of Marines stimming up. And he doesn't really.